Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to cover passwords and combinations. So whether it is a keyword that you need to provide in order to bypass a door or a security guard, or that you simply want your players to have a combination to crack open a safe, this video is for you. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start this video by the combination chest. So I saw a perfect chest the other day, which was inside the sci-fi chest. Characters, where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. This one is perfect. Now we're going to need a couple of variables in order to implement what we need. So what we're going to do is inside the control variables, I'm going to create two of them. The first one is going to be the combination, I think, variable. And the second one is going to be the chest combination itself. All right. I'm so inconsistent with my naming. I hate it. Don't pay attention to it. And I should. So combination attempt, chest combination. Good. Now what we're going to do is inside the combination attempt, there is inside the RPG meter MZ, the input number uh, command, which will allow you to input a number inside a variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to input it inside the combination attempt variable and you can decide up to a eight digits the number to input. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead with four different digits. And what we're going to do is implement the conditional branch that if the variable combination attempt is equal to the variable combination, well, chess combination, then the chest will open. And it's very that simple. So set movement route, this event, and then we're going to have turn left, wait three frames, turn right, wait three frames, turn up, wait three frames, then play a sound effect. I think door one should be good on this one. Whoa. Meh. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go with door one. And uh, all right. Now we're also going to switch the sub switch to A to on. We're going to give the show text, you found a million gold. Yep. That's sci-fi chest for you. A million gold. And then we're going to go ahead with color. Let's go with a couple more of sound effects. So. And of course, read, which is super happy about this. All right, and of course, we're going to copy paste this, flush it all, self switch with self switch to A, chest is open. There we go. Now, uh, I'm also going to create a little event over here, which is going to be our combination. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, when we talk to this control variable, uh, the chest combination itself is going to be a random number between zero and nine, 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 nine. And for the purposes of this we're also gonna give us number now the reason why i give a random number is for replayability purposes if the character is played with game once and your number is always the same per game then directly as soon as they reach out the chest they will know that oh the number is one six five three so all i have to do is input one six five three and ta-da i get to cheat even though i shouldn't know that so by inputting a random number, it's going to change every single game. And now they have to guess it like 10 billion times. So, I mean, if they want to cheat, well, that's good. You can also implement something so that they cannot try more than three times. Otherwise, uh, an alarm rings or something. It's up to you, really. But we're going to keep simple for today's video. All right. So we're going to read on the wall the combination of the chest, which is zero. Something went terribly wrong here. What did I do? Oh, yeah, whoops. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. So, 45 more here is the value of the variable. Don't know why I put 7. Yes, I was focused at talking more than I was to programming. So, the chess combination is 6747. Seven. Awesome. Now, if I talk to it again, it will change the combination. So, 4596. So, let's go with 4596. 4596. 
Thanks. And the chest open. We found a million gold. And is very happy. That's it. So that's how you can input a combination inside the chest in order to open it. Now for the input password, which will be a word. Unlike the input digits, there's nothing in order to input a name inside a variable in RPG Maker MZ. The reason to this is very simple. Variables are made inside RPG Maker to only contain number. So how can we address this problem? If you go inside your database, you're going to create a input password actor. Now, this guy is not a real actor. It's our variable that we're going to use, which is called input password. Now, I know it's a bit confusing, so let me show you exactly where I'm going with this. We cannot input a name inside a variable, but what we can do is change an actor's name right over here. So on the first tab, change name of our actor. Now we're going to use input password and the name is going to be nothing. It's going to remain as is. Now the reason to that is because we just changed the name of our actor to absolutely nothing. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to use the name input processing, which is basically going to hal us to input a name inside an actor's name, which is going to be input password, which is now empty. So the maximum character is going to be 16, which is the maximum inside RPG Maker MZ. And we're going to press on OK. Now a new condition that we can do is if the name of our actor input password is equal to the password of that chest. Now you cannot input the, the answer inside a variable itself. So you have to write it directly inside the condition. So the password of our chest is going to be password. Genius. All right. So, and that's really just hit. That's all you need to do. Now, once again, we're going to implement the animations and all that good stuff. So let me just fast forward this part for you. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Now, if we test this, we should have our result. So now we're going to go inside the house, talk with the chest. It asks us to input a password. So let's go with password. And now if password is equals to password, the chest will open. And you found one million gold. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so that's already it for today's video on inputting combinations and password. It's really not that hard. So make sure to like, subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them inside the comment section below. And I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye. Goodbye.